Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is your friendly neighborhood chart nerd, Doug Campbell, coming to you with the morning market prep for February 26, 2021. Well, my goodness, yesterday we saw some ugliness as those treasury yields rose pretty sharply yesterday, uh, raising some concerns of inflation and really bringing out the bears. But there was some good and some bad um, left in the market yesterday. And there is some uncertainty that has certainly been raised um, that we'll want to take a look at. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle into your office chair, and let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, I suspect there are quite a few folks that are licking some wounds, uh, feeling pretty ab abused after that big reversal up here um, yesterday. Uh, those that kind of chased in or rushed in yesterday, uh, excuse me, the day before yesterday, um, thinking that the all clear sign had been um, called by um, the Fed Chairman Powell, certainly got abused pretty heavily yesterday in that sell-off. Let's take a look at the technicals here, see if we can kind of glean some information from this. And I, I want to suggest, guys, that one of the first things when things like this occur in the market, go to your charts, focus on the price action in the charts. I know there's a lot of emotion out there. There's a lot of pain probably experienced out there in accounts. But let's look carefully at the charts and see if we can determine how we might want to approach the market for today. So first off, let's take a look at this trend. If we look at the trend on the Dow, you still have to admit we're holding trend in the Dow. So although we left behind this ugly, really ugly, bearish engulfing whipsaw pattern up here, at the top, we also have to look at the fact that we may hold this price support level. There's nothing suggesting that we can't at this point. Now, of course, a bearish engulfing candle suggests that there will be more push to the downside. <coughs> Excuse me. But remember, that doesn't necessarily ring true. If we don't get those bears pushing on through and driving this down through this level, then that would give the bulls confidence to fight back and defend off of this price support level. So on a technical front, I gotta say the diamonds held up pretty well yesterday. Yes, it was a brutal day. Yes, it was a painful day, but we held up pretty well. Notice we're still well above our moving averages in the chart. Now that's the bright side. And if we start looking a little bit deeper here and we take a look at the SPY, SPY, we have a situation here where we're starting to be shaken just a little bit. And I kind of mentioned this yesterday that um, there was just a little concern here in the chart because we had not been able to break through that resistance up here at the top side. And yesterday, we kind of had a big upset here with the, the Bears um, coming out to play in a big way and defending that resistance. Now the problem we have here in this chart, if we take a, a close look, we have a substantial concern here with a evening star pattern showing up in the chart and a lower high that has been formed right here along that downtrend. We also have the problem that we're dealing with that we have broken this price support. Not only broken that price support, but substantially broke that price support and likely shook the confidence of quite a few traders out there. Now, if we look a little bit deeper in here, we can see some price support through this level that still is holding little intermediary level right there that we're trying to hang on to. So not all is lost here, but there is reason for concern. And if we were to get some follow through today, and you can see pre-market, we're trying to hold up right now. 
pre-market, we've had a real choppy overnight session in the futures. Um, but if the, as long as that holds up, we're okay. But I, I would be really, really concerned if we finish the day uh, following through on that bearish candle. So watch for that carefully and closely. If we can defend this little support level in here, that little price at level right there, if we can defend that, if those bulls can step back in and hold that into the weekend, we're probably gonna be okay. If they fail, if they push that down through there and close down below this level, we could have a rough time ahead of us um, in the market for the next week. Let's take a look at um, our moving average here. Our moving averages, and this is that key, key level, um, S&P 500 trying to hold on, clinging to that 50-day moving average. That could be a psychological break. And what I was suggesting is if we were to break below that and close down below that 50-day moving average, there could be a little bit of trouble with that. So watch that pretty closely. Now let's take a look at the um, NASDAQ. And the QQQ is a, really where the technical damage came in yesterday. Notice if we draw this line up here, I mentioned yesterday that we hadn't recovered enough to even recover the downtrend here in the chart um, on that big rally back day, those last two rally back days. We didn't recover enough to um, bring out much confidence. And now we've placed in here a fairly significant problem here with this failure pattern below the trend and also that failure pattern showing up below support levels in the chart. We've broken down through these support levels. So pretty critical break here um, and some technical damage showing up in the NASDAQ. Now the NASDAQ has been extremely elevated for quite some time. So perhaps this is just that correction to come back and test some bigger levels of price support. But I gotta tell you, this is going to be a concern, particularly if we push any lower today and close down uh, for the week. That will be a problem for us, so watch that carefully. Also, if you take a look at this, can you guys see that possibility that we may be creating a bit of a head and shoulders type pattern here on the NASDAQ? Um, so watch that closely. Our neckline of this head and shoulders would be right through here. And once again, that would be kind of an interesting or, or a um, pretty bad technical break if we were to close um, lower today and break that neckline. That could be a problem. So watch that closely and carefully here as we progress throughout the day. Now let's take a look at those moving averages. And here's the big psychological break for the market. Um, and that is that break below the 50-day moving average. Now, 50-day moving averages are very, very important, um, obviously, because the, the majority of the market looks at those. Now, what we have is we have our short-term moving averages starting to crop, push down. They haven't crossed down yet, but they will come together and possibly create a level of price resistance right in here. And if we do rally back, here's the problem that the NASDAQ now suffers. If we rally back up into this, we're gonna run right into a downtrend resistance and that moving average resistance of the shorter term starting to cross down. And if we take a look, that 50 day moving average is just starting to flatten out. If we rally back into this resistance area and show failure, we could have some major problems. And a failure at the 50 day moving average often signals that opportunity that the NASDAQ could move down toward its 200 day. So keep a close eye on that. We've got some problems here to recover from and obviously there is a lot of confidence being shaken here in these um, index charts. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM had a ugly pullback yesterday but is in much better shape just kind of like the Dow and holding above some key support levels in the chart. And as you can see here, where we're at right at the moment, we're kind of holding in here on that key support, holding above its 50-day um, moving average. So no real major technical damage here in IWM, but certainly a concern because we have this 
ugly reversal pattern at the downtrend in that chart. So follow through beyond this point would be a major problem. If we break that support, um, there would be a pretty good chance if we break that support, we'll see that 50 day moving average in the IWM. So we need to see those bulls come in hard and defend uh, these areas. And with treasury yields pulling back a little bit this morning, perhaps that's possible. So stay tuned and watch this pretty closely. Let's take a look at um, the VIX. Now that VIX, um, I've been mentioning this thing has concerned me for quite some time because we haven't been able to break down. Even as the Dow made new record highs this week, we weren't able to break down on that VIX. And boy, we sure, sure saw that surge yesterday. So what this means is with that up here, this might be one of those warning shots. We have to be careful with that. When we surge in the VIX, it really doesn't hurt us on that first move up. What's going to be, be the concern is if this holds a higher low. If this were to hold a higher low and then find some selling in there, that's where the real sell-off could occur. So watch that closely. If we pull back today, that's great, that's awesome. We should expect some really heavy price volatility today. Expect intraday whipsaws and a lot of jumbly price action out there could be really, really challenging. So watch that carefully with the VIX this elevated. Um, a bit of concern here, but remember, it's not gonna be all that bad if we can push it right back down. It's only when we make that higher low and then we see that fear coming back in. That's where that problem could come into play. So watch that close. Then if we take a look at our T21, 22, the four week new high, new low ratio. And I've been mentioning for some time that four week new high, new low ratio has been overextended. Um, it's unfortunate that we're in the kind of market right now where we're an all or nothing market. We can't seem to have any happy medium. We just either, um, everybody rushes in and surges in. And that's really typical of of market topping patterns. If you guys remember um, 2008 sell-off, we went through about 30 days where the market moved 500 points both directions um, every single day. And when we when we get into that market frenzy like that, it's it's either all um, all bullish emotion or all bearish emotion that rushes in, and we're starting to see that whip in here. So be a little bit careful and cautious. Now we were up here um, yesterday trying to show that hey, there was no problem here at all until suddenly there was. And I've been warning about this to not be complacent and to be careful in the market. Now we're pushing down really, really sharply and we still have room here to the downside. So what T2122 tells us is we may not be finished on this downside move. There may be an additional push. And you might think, you know, heading into the weekend, there could actually be a little bit more selling uh, just to remove some risk heading into that weekend. It's certainly possible. Now, if we bounce in here, um, we have opened a significant upside window in the market. If we can catch that bounce, if there's reason for bullishness to come back into the market, we could bounce back up significantly and, and, and no harm, no foul. But we want to watch that pretty closely. What I don't like, though, is I don't like the fact that we're doing the all or nothing shift back and forth in those whippy patterns. Be really, really careful here, guys. This is this kind of market can chop your account to pieces. All of those great profits that you've made this year can be wiped out really quickly in that chop. So make sure you're paying very close attention to the trades that you're taking and avoid the extreme high volatility that can really eat your, eat your count up. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar does have a few things that we wanna pay attention to this morning. We've got kind of a busy morning here on that calendar with a couple market moving, potentially market moving um, reports. We have international trading goods and we know that's been terrible. Um, and nobody seems to care anymore that our deficits on the on, a, on the trade side are just 
unbelievable. But we, and we've ignored that here for quite some time, and perhaps we know or ignore it again today. We've got personal incomes and outlays that we'll want to be keeping an eye on here this morning that can move us around. And then notice later on in the day, we've got the Chicago PMI and consumer sentiment. So keep that in mind today. Few of those reports that could move us around a bit. There's going to be a lot of emotion today. And perhaps we just ignore these and all we do is focus on the bond yield um, for our cues to rally or fail from. So watch that close. And then on the earnings front, guys, we have a little bit of a break today with quite a few less companies reporting today. Um, if you want to see the full list of notables, um, uh, click that link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog and you can check out um, these um, notables that I've placed in the, in the blog. But let's take a look at a, a few of those. Um, AMCX will be reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on this. Um, obviously, this has been in a nice upside trend, so this will be kind of an important report. Notice we're pretty tight to that trend as well. So we had quite a little bit of volatility over here in this chart. If we can get that bullish report, we can maybe stay up in this trend. But if we were to get a bearish report here, it would be an easy slip below. And with the current mood of the market, you could see how that could happen pretty easily. Um, to check out um, Crone. This is one of those um, crazy wild stocks, um, cannabis stocks out there. And um, it's been moving around quite a little bit. We had quite a little bit of bullishness and now recently we've sold off pretty strongly. So let's watch that report. That'll be kind of important here, whether or not we can push on through. Watch that little support area right in here. And this is a possible head and shoulders top starting to form here. If we were to create another shoulder out here, that could be a problem. So watch that closely on Crone today. DKNG. Um, this has been a, a raging stock this um, this year, just running, 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 running to the upside. But here recently, we've had a little bit of a, a pullback in that chart. Notice that we've broken trend here just a little bit. We've got this little downtrend going into play. So watch that earnings report. If we can get a good report, we might be able to pop back through and recover this trend and keep on moving higher. If we were to fail in this area, that could be a problem for DKNG. Take a look at Foot Locker. Foot Locker reporting. Oh, it looks like Foot Locker uh, uh, didn't have its shoelaces tied and tripped big time this morning. And um, um, looks like we've got an ugly, ugly um, candle coming in this morning. Looks like Foot Locker has missed on its earnings report. So watch that closely. This has been in a nice upside trend, but that doesn't look so good um, in the pre-market here this morning. So there's a few stocks to um, take a look at. And because I'm running short of time, um, I'm going to move on here. Guys, if this is the first time that you have seen these videos, if you could do me a favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be helpful, please do me a favor, click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. Um, it helps the channel grow. Now, I want to apologize. I didn't get a chance. I was teaching a class yesterday. Didn't get a chance to answer those comments, but I will be back on task today um, answering those comments. So thank you so much for everyone who does that. You guys are truly, truly awesome. And um, once again, a big shout out to those who have been supporting the channel with the Buy Me A Coffee. If you look right below the title of the video, there's a another link down there where you can um, support the channel with buy me a coffee and I, you guys just thank you so much that's just truly awesome um, folks are supporting the channel that way and that will help me uh, buy equipment and, and improve the content and um, things that I put out so you guys are awesome thank you so much let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but I got to tell you guys Today is going to be one of those days where I'm going to suggest sitting on your hands may be the best thing to do. We're likely to see quite a little bit of volatility in these charts, but there are a few out there that are still worth taking a look at. One of those 
I think, and I've been mentioning some longer term trades. One of the things when we look for longer term positions, we want to look for stocks that have been rather beaten down. And that's what's happened here. 3M has been rather beaten down. When the market gets nervous, we start looking for safety plays. And consumer durables, consumer consumables are those places where we want to be looking. Let's take a look here at 3M and notice that we're holding this nice little trend. We've broken the downtrend and we're holding in here. And I've been watching this level right here. And one of the reasons this is appealing is when the market gets shaky, people start looking for yield. And um, we may have a bit of a value play here because it's been beaten down and we may have a good dividend yield here that could help us out. So if you take a look at my drawings on the chart, you can see I've placed an alert right here and I actually picked up just kind of a little tiny starter position yesterday. So while the rest of the market was looking really bearish and ugly, we saw a pretty good move here, at least a positive move in 3M. Might be something you want to keep an eye on um, in that chart where we saw so many other stocks just really get um, um, lots and lots of, uh, uh, well, just a beating taken to the woodshed. A few, there are a few stocks looking pretty good that we'll want to pay attention to. Um, if we take a look at stocks like Snap, now Snap had a pretty ugly reversal here yesterday, but overall it continued to hold this support. So if we can get some bullishness to come back into the market, Snap could still hold in here and move on higher. I've been keeping, uh, actually I hold a position in Ford and Ford also had a pretty substantial reversal back down yesterday, but let's keep an eye on that. It really didn't break down. So if we can get those bulls to push in, we can still come up off of those levels. Um, some of the um, retailers that we've been talking about barely budged yesterday. And you can see KSS con continuing to hold here. Um, I would place a price alert above this area and I would just wait and see if we engage this trend out here, if that can push on through. A lot of these little retailers looking pretty good overall. So keep an eye on those. So there are some places to look. Now, if you're looking for some short trades, um, I mentioned um, AMD yesterday to the members of RWO. AMD failing right here at a major price resistance report in the chart. You can see leaving behind that ugly bearish pattern. Now keep in mind, if this rallies back up, we still have to get through these downtrends and through this resistance. So even if it rallies back, watch for that next potential short to come into that trade. And another one on the positive side um, is Oracle. Oracle did a good job yesterday holding up relatively well. And if we take a look at this on a weekly, that's holding in there very nicely. This is a good dividend payer. Um, we're at the bottom of this channel. We may have that opportunity to rise up in this chart back to that upside. So keep an eye on Oracle. Maybe wait for that next entry into the trade if that can rest or pull back. Might be one of those little safety plays. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you an awesome, awesome Friday and a tremendously restful weekend. Everyone take care. Have great profits today, and we'll see you bright and early Monday morning. Thanks, everyone. Take care.